Hey there doctors, welcome back to English Me. Dito sa Nocturnal Sage, a guide for those left in the dark. Ako nga pala ulit, si Kuya N, ang inyong class president. Noong nakaraang meeting with Sir Jeremy, diniscuss niya yung tungkol sa stereotyping, ano yun? Culture shock, at saka egocentrism. Sa series na to, pagtutuunan natin ang pansin yung stereotyping. Mas makikilala natin na malalim si Sir Jeremy kasi pag-uusapan niya yung tungkol sa sarili niya sa pamamagitan ng mga stereotypes na binabato sa kanya noong siya ay bata pa. So, real talk to. Real talk to. Siya naman yung bida. Hindi na ako. Excited na ba kayo malaman pa kung sino si Sir Jeremy? So, tuhayan natin ang kanya stereotype buster para sa culture. Oh, English me. Let's talk about me now. Okay, what I'll be focusing on with regard to prejudice is my own situation. I don't want to appear hypocritical as if I know the flaws of every other culture aside from my own. I find that unethical. That's why I am zeroing in on my own context. So I am a Filipino, but I am stereotyped because of where I am raised, where I have been born, naturally and oh, how I act. So I'll be focusing on three prejudices some people have about me and similar folks. My being English speaking or Inglesero and then the other label is that I'm urban grown though I don't find that quite offensive. Well later when we get to the connotation we'll find out and I am perceived to be rich when in fact I'm really not. So let's revisit the first one. I'm an Inglesero the stereotype that people have of Ingliseros like me is that I don't have a sense of nationalism. I don't value my being Filipino. I don't value my own culture just because I appear to be better at speaking English than Tagalog, which I know how to. Now, that is one stereotype that I'd like to disprove because there are what we call Filipino writers in English. If you studied Philippine literature, you get what I mean. We have Nick Joaquin. We have Edith El Tiempo, we have Bienvenido and Santos, and a lot more authors who wrote in English. And they wrote about the Filipino heritage. Now, just because they use the English language, does that necessarily mean that we'll cancel them out when it comes to being nationalistic? No. Just because we use a particular language doesn't necessarily mean we are stripping away our sense of being Filipinos. Who would you rather have? A Filipino who speaks in Tagalog but defames our government, insults someone else who's also Filipino, or a Filipino who may speak in English but writes and says something positive or something that uplifts the Filipino spirit. So that's my attack on the first stereotype, the label of being an Inglesero. The second stereotype that I'd like to dive into is my being urban grown. I'm being perceived as too intelligent for some. It's like my ideas are occidental and I'm not down to earth. It's hard to strike, a, to strike up a conversation with me, especially if that someone is from the province because he or she esteems me to be too high above the clouds. Well, let me tell you that I admit that I'm not even all-knowing. That is why I study. And just because I study in a prestigious university doesn't necessarily follow that my knowledge is superior to yours. Now, I'd like to eliminate, not necessarily eliminate, but falsify that stereotype because the fact that I'm studying is an indirect statement telling you that I need to learn more. Yes, I may have come from the urban area. I don't have any province. However, I'm not a know-it-all. There are things that people from the rural areas know that I don't and I'm actually interested in knowing what they are. And then the last stereotype that I'd like to discuss is my being rich. I'm perceived as rich simply because of the way I carry myself. Some people may find me too sophisticated or aristocratic but to be honest, I do household chores. I do my own laundry. I clean my own room and occasionally I cook and sometimes I wash 
the family car. Now, does that make me any different from you there who have that impression of me that I'm richer than anyone else like a crazy rich Asian? However, I, yes, I do my own stuff. We don't have any house help anymore. Well, we used to, but now after eight years of having stopped the hiring of such, then we have we have to do things on our own. So let me tell you, I am not at least the stereotype of being rich. I'm not that. So what about you? Have you ever been stereotyped the way I am? Indirectly or directly? Comment down below and share your stories. For all of you know, maybe some might get inspired by your narratives. So let's start conversations like this and end disempowering stereotypes which prevent us from reaching our potential as individuals and as a society. So continue surviving in the dark for the next stereotype buster. Oh English me Blas! Yeah, I know from... Yeah, I know for the hundredth millionth time, I know, okay? Ano ang sasabihin mo? I have always kept that advice. I don't need a reminder. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. However, I have always been observing that behavior. Thank you for the reminder, but I have always been doing that. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang episode na ito, pakilike na dyan sa baba. Tapos kung may mga questions kayo or suggestions kung paano mapa-improve yung delivery ng lesson or kung may mga dagdag pa kayo na topics, mag-comment na lang din. I-share nyo naman ang video na to. Maganda nga yung buong playlist pa eh sa mga kakilala ninyo na nagtitake ng oral com sa panahon ngayon. Alam nyo naman na kanya-kanya ng diskarte sa paghahanap ng reliable reference materials at kasama na dyan ng nocturnal sa isa reliable kung naniniwala kayo na reliable ito. At kung gusto nyo ng safe space kung saan makakapag-share kayo ng mga topics, mga ideas na hindi nyo basta-basta naiungkat sa pangkaraniwan ninyong pakikipag-usap with family and friends. Sumali kayo ng Nocturne Space, yung link nasa baba. At doon baka makakatagpo kayo ng mga kaparehas nyo mag-isip. At higit sa lahat, mag-subscribe. At itap nyo yung notification bell para hindi kayo mahuli sa anumang updates namin. New episodes every Tuesday at 8pm. Salamat sa panonood. Ako muli si Kuya Ed. Kita-kit sa susunod na episode ng English Me dito sa Nocturnal Sage, a guide for those left in the dark.